Talking to strangers is easy. Now you're putting yourself out there, which is great, but I understand that going up to people at a convention or on the street because you want their business can be a little intimidating. In this video, I'll give you a few pointers on how to turn a stranger into a warm relationship. We'll join you for coffee later and hear more about how you can do business together. First, you want to be all warmed up. Now, before I make a phone call, I like to listen to a great speech from a movie so I can subconsciously mimic it later. It gives me enthusiasm and energy. I'm sure you have your own favorite speakers, but I like Al Pacino in Scent of a Woman, Jason Statham in the beginning of Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels, and I like Colin Farrell in In Bruges. Think of who gets you all riled up and who you want to talk like. Listen to them before you go talking, and I'll bet you'll be more like your role model. It can be a bit tricky to come across as natural when you're talking to a stranger. If you don't start off strong, you might come across as a nerd, but if you force it, you could come across as a loudmouth, and that would make your subject uncomfortable. What you absolutely don't want to do is come across like a snake oil salesman. Be warm and be genuine. Just be yourself. When you're introducing yourself, you want to remember the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. You're the who. Your name, where you're from, your business background. Let them know they're talking to a savvy somebody rather than some unengaged telemarketer type. Next, tell them why you're talking to them. If you're a carpenter, tell them that they're talking to you because they just met the best carpenter and all their carpentry problems are gone forever. If you're selling houses, tell them that they're talking to you because they were lucky enough to meet the most honest and hardworking home seller in their time zone. What is fairly straightforward? You want to make money. Plain and simple. Don't be afraid to let people know you're doing it. Think of it this way. If someone comes up to you and tells you that they're in business but they don't care so much about money, you either laugh at them or you grab your wallet with both hands. Let them know you're after a buck and let them know how. Construction, wholesaling, whatever you're doing, let them know that it's profitable, that your work is valuable, and most importantly, that working off of you is going to make both of you better off for it. Where is all about the places you've done things? Let this part of your introduction be your resume. Tell them your track record. Tell them how many deals and transactions you've done. Let them know that you're experienced and give them an account of all the places you've done good so they can know you're a pro. When applies to your follow-up. When you're parting ways after your intro, emphatically try to get them to schedule a follow-up. Tell them you want to buy them a drink so you can talk one-on-one. -on -one. They'll feel valued and everyone likes to go have some fun. People like people they've met and who've shown that they care about earning their business. Coffee does that. Okay, so I'm going to do a brief introduction of myself introduction for you, just as an example of how to compellingly acquaint someone with you and build them up for that follow-up phone call, on-site visit, coffee, you name it. Now, I don't have a photo of myself for this part of the video, so I'm just going to use photos of guys who kind of look like me. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Dave of Calhoun Ventures. I used to work in TV making shows about real estate, but after that ended, I decided I liked what the shows were about better than I liked actually making them. I've found a little real estate company to work for, and in the past two years, I've been lucky to work for one of the most productive and fastest growing teams in the Midwest. We're doing great. Along with our partners, we've produced over 3,500 turnkey investment houses throughout six different cities, and we're adding more to that record every day. We work in volume. Our clients pay low prices for houses because we produce so many of them, so we effectively sell houses for bulk rates, and times have never been better. We're active in the Quad Cities, Twin Cities, Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, and Milwaukee. We have teams on the ground in all of these cities, and we do our entire projects ourselves start to finish. Acquisition, renovation, management. If you're after a good cash-flowing house, we've got the best out there. Listen, if you wanted to invest in gold, you wouldn't buy a pickaxe and a plane ticket to the Yukon Territory, would you? You'd find a gold dealer. Well, I'm a house dealer. I deal, I deal with all the Toms and Dicks and Harrys that you have to know who manage to make money investing in real estate. If you're looking for someone to help you out there, then we better meet later so we can sit down, rest our legs, and let me chew your ear off about every little thing about my business. I'll show you my books, I'll show you my neighborhoods I work in, all the houses I've done. You know it takes a lot of trust to work with someone like me, and I want to earn yours. So what do you say we grab a coffee, cup of coffee at Starbucks on 11th Street after work next Monday? Okay, so that's my pitch. And I do change it around and always try to get it to, to suit my audience. Try to make them laugh. If you can figure out what makes you a good friend laugh, then things will never be better. And finally, I do get daunted sometimes. I worry someone's not going to like me or that I'm going to stumble and not have the answer to an important question and, and lose the big lead. But when that happens, I think about how big the universe is and how botching something like yapping at a stranger probably won't affect the grand scheme of things in the long run. So get out there and chew some ears off.